Okay, so you're gonna get a new pocket page, and this is the spine side, this is the top. You are going to cut a piece nine inches tall by three and three eighths inches wide. Put it in the scoreboard with a three and three eighths side up. You're gonna score it at a half an inch. Turn it around, half an inch, and half an inch. So you're gonna have a pocket like this. So you're going to miter those corners, miter, miter these top edges too, and either you're gonna use glue or score tape. What, where this is gonna go is at the spine side, facing the spine. So you're gonna line it up with the edge of the spine, and that is where you're going to be putting this. So I have my flap in with my black construction tape. I'm not going to adhere these down yet because whatever um, I put in here, and this is going to be pocket, I just, I just want to make sure it goes in. I can just cover it up like this. But So for now, it's just going to be like that. What you're going to be using for to cover this pocket is this. This is from the 8x8. It has all these like one, two, three, four, five, six, nine of these ornaments and bells. And that just kind of fits almost perfectly right there. You have to trim it a little bit off on the bottom and top, but otherwise it's it's like it was made for uh, to be right here. It's perfect size. So next, we're going to be working on a flip that's going to be coming up to this edge of the pocket. So I went ahead and put that designer paper on the pocket. So that's how it, how it looks. So just make sure you ink the edges, but it kind of fits almost perfect. You only have to take a little bit off the, bo the bottom here. But otherwise, keep the blue border all the way around. So when you're cutting it, cut that full blue border all the way around those, those three cards, those three ornaments. So next you're gonna cut another piece that is eight inches tall. And you're going to, we don't know how wide it's gonna be yet. You're gonna butt it up to that pocket and you're going to go to the edge and find where the edge is. Top and bottom, just in case your pocket's crooked. And that's where you're going to score it. You're going to score it there So this looks like four inches where I'm scoring it. What is wrong with that? And here it's a little bit not straight. So my pocket must not be straight. So I am going to manually fold it. Let's see if I can do that. Got my tick mark there. So I'm going to fold where that tick mark is. If I can see it. Yeah, a lot of times I don't get my pockets in straight, then it's off like a sixteenth of an inch. And then everything is out. Here. So I can do that. You probably got it straighter than me, but for some reason my pocket is off. So I'm just going to manually try to get that.
then once you get it lined up then you're just going to cut this so you have a half an inch lip and then you can straighten this out mine's just a little off but that's what i'm going to do so i have mine and put it up to the edge here and it goes it's hard to see black and black but it's lining up with the pocket right there i'm going to adhere that down and then once that is adhered down I drew three eighths of an inch line there. And that's gonna be our guideline for our next pocket, our next little flap. We're going to put a flap there, and it's gonna be eight inches tall. And you're gonna have a half an inch score line there. And you will cut the width so you have three-eighths of an inch. You want to have three-eighths of an inch, so you would just draw on that piece of paper, draw on it, and then cut. And same thing, just draw your straight line and then cut that line. So three-eighths of an inch, so you're going to have a three-eighths of an inch border here. There's the three-eighths of an inch border there. And here is a three-eighths of an inch border here. It's hard to see, but there is a three-eighths of an inch border there. So I'm going to try to get all those squared away, and I'll be right back. So I have this first bottom flap in. Let's see it there. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going this you're going to measure off three eighths of an inch from the edge like that, and then measure off three eighths of an inch off on this side too, and you're going to put a half an inch strip here and a half an inch strip here. I guess you don't need to measure off three eighths of an inch. We'll do that again once we get the paper on, but put a half an inch strip here. So you're just going to cut a half an inch strip. Probably not this one. Don't know what that would look like. Let's see what would that look like with our bells, with our ornaments. No, that's not, that doesn't look too bad, but no. So what I was thinking of using, we had used this for another piece uh, we cut off something from here i can't even remember what we cut off but this is what we have left i want to keep this joyful christmas part um, untouched because that would make some like a good pocket somewhere if i decide to use that so we're going to cut off half an inch here and half an inch here and we're going to be turning it to this side so what we're going to see is something like this or this depending on which part we use so i'm going to cut a half an inch here and a half an inch here yeah make sure this part is safe and then we'll decide where where i want to cut eight inches so depending on what what comes out what looks best So we have our two half an inch strips. They're 12 inches long. And that's just so we can kind of preview them and see which one audition each one. And I think I like this side. It has that little textured rope. And if we put it next to the ornaments, that looks good. And then we'll have our flap coming in about right there. So I think I'll put that one down for here, cut it, and then on this side, let's see, we have that, anything, what would this look like there? Yep, 
you just kind of play around, see which one you think looks the best. I'm going to be picking up this blue part down here. Um, so I'll be cutting this one here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut those two strips down and be right back. So I have my two strips, my two half inch strips in. Can never find the camera. Where is the camera? And here is, I marked off three eighths of an inch. So it's three eighths of an inch from the black edge. I put a pencil mark, same thing on this side, three eighths of an inch in, put a pencil mark. So this, this flap, which is also eight inches tall, exactly the same, got a half inch um, score line there. We're gonna put that this edge on that three eighths of an inch here. And if we cut it right, because I did measure out three eighths of an inch, it's going to end up, so we have three eighths of an inch on this side also. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, this one down. So once that flap is in, you're going to get this paper from the 8x8. I believe it's from the backgrounds. So this is the back of it. And you will cut a piece that fits in here. And make sure it sides up. I think I have it this way. I think that's the right, right way with the flowers going in that direction. So that is going to go there, so I am going to pull my tape and get that down. It's like 3 in the morning. I have got to go to bed. So I just want to get this down. So we're, we got this all paper put in, so now we're going to open this up and go to the inside. So we're going to go to the inside. And this is what we have. We haven't, or at least I haven't put my pocket down yet, and we have this space. And I wrote down magnets here because we need to put some magnets in so I don't forget. Uh, but let me show you the paper that we're going to be putting in here. So this paper, which is just the cutoff from this one here, I think it's cut off right there, this paper is going to be going here. So this is going to slip into the pocket. It should be already cut to size because you cut it over here. So that is going to go there. Remember, don't put it in. We still need to put magnets. On this page, I'm going through our scraps. So I have this scrap. We used it for something else. We're going to be putting this here, but it doesn't quite reach to the end bit here. So what we're going to do, you have options. Go through some of your other scraps. This one here, we could use this edging, this, this little bit here. To put that down there and then that would tie this in with that so that's a good option if you want more contrast you can put let's see put this edging in which is the red this edging in and that would pick up over here so it would be more like, oh well, you get the idea. It would be more like this. That's an option too. So it's like you can do whatever you want to do. And that's a good option too. So however you would like it. First, let's put in the magnets. So I'm going to get my little magnets, put them here on the corners, 
and then I'm going to transfer it over to this edge. So magnets here and here, half, half an inch down, half an inch in, and then transfer it over. So I've got my magnets um, over here. So now I'm going to transfer them down. Just get that score tape and put the, the opposite end there. Did it on both of these. So we're just going to transfer these over. Hopefully they transfer. So they're transferred over. Now we can put this paper in. So we're going to start with this piece. Remember, this was a cutoff from, from this one. So we're going to line that up a little bit away from the fold line there. So I'm going to put this in through the pocket and then get it to where I want it and then adhere it down. So you can go ahead and pull the score tape on the pocket. So I haven't put the pocket down, but you can go ahead and put that pocket in and then, you're, then you can slide your paper underneath. and then put that down. And I'm going to be pulling these and putting out um, some black construction tape over them too. So that piece is in. The magnets have been covered with the black construction tape. Um, I was originally going to put a ribbon pole here, but I'm not going to. We can just pull it up from this side. Um, so now we're going to do this this piece. So here's the piece I had shown you and I cut out that edging, um, this red one, and I'm going to use the factory cut right here, this, this straight. This was the factory cut. This was my cut, so it's not completely straight, straight enough, but I'm going to butt this up to this, this piece of paper. So it's like that, oops, so it's like that. And I'm going to flip it over and butt it, butt it up on this side. And then I'm going to tape it so it is right next to each other. And I'm probably going to use um, my black construction tape. So I'm going to do that and I will get that put together and be right back. So what I did is I used a thin piece of art glitter glue to kind of push it into that seam and just rub it down with my finger. Just make sure it doesn't go on the other side. And then I cut my black, there it looks pretty good. And I cut my black construction tape into a half inch piece on my mat and I'm going to I'm sorry I don't show you all this I have to put I can't see my eyes are not that good so I have to really go down so I can see what I'm doing but I'm just going to go down with my black construction tape so I have my black construction tape on. This is a lot of work for like a little strip, but there it is in the front and it's kind of seamless and it's strong. So um, is it worth it? Yeah. So now I just need to cut this to size and ink the edges. This edge is going to come out on here like, like this. I just have to Cut it down, it needs to be cut down just a little bit. This is eight inches, this is gonna be cut down to um, seven and seven eighths. So I'll be right back once it's cut and inked. 
So I cut it down to seven <clears throat> and seven eighths like this piece. Get it lined up with the edge here. This needs to be trimmed a little bit on this edge too, because we got that bend there. Do not trim from here, trim from here if you need to do a little bit of trimming. So I'm going to trim this, get it all evened up, and then we'll be ready to adhere it down. The other thing I wanted to point out when we're obsessive, or at least I'm obsessive with adding these strips and making them strong is this is going over a magnet both sides. So we've got, it's been kind of glued, got the black construction tape, and now I'm putting a half inch tape here. If you use glue, that's great too, because glue will make it strong too. So when we put this over, we're gonna have no problems with those magnets whatsoever. So I'm ready to put mine down. Okay, so, oh my gosh, my computer just fell off. So we have this part done. I just added this red ribbon. This is going to be our pole to open up like this and like this. So this part is done. And now we're going to be doing this inside part. So I got my it ribbon there and I'm going to be putting um, some black construction tape over that. Now for the paper in here, I wanted to keep it fairly neutral, um, not too busy because we're going to be adding photos in here. So I got this from the 8x8 collection and I want to see how much I want to keep as much gold as I can. So there's gold over there. Let's see. Just going around to see where I can get the most gold. Looks like I got gold there, 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 so probably this direction. So what I'm going to do, and I need to add some magnets too, I'm going to be using this orientation of the paper where you have gold here, some gold here, and some gold down here. I just like that little shimmer. So that is where I'm going to do it, so let me mark it so I don't forget. so I know. First we need to add some magnets. So I'm going to put some magnets in here and here and over here and here and then I'm going to transfer them over and I'll be right back. So I have these magnets here. I'm going to get their partners and then get these transferred over. bit too long but hey Let's see. I should transfer one at a time that makes it so much easier It. I have to take some of this off because um, it's too close to the edge. Maybe. Don't know. I should have transferred one at a time. That's what I should have done. So I'm going to take a little bit of this off, but the magnets are in. So let me get these magnets all squared up. So the magnets are all in. And the black construction tape is over the ribbon, the magnets. And I've cut this paper and I've inked the edges. So that's gonna go there. And then this one will go here. And that's the way it's going to look like that. Something like that, once it gets, when I get it straight. So that's, I'm going to go ahead and hear all this down, and I'll be right back. So other than decorations, maybe do something here and do something inside. This little 
booklet is done. I'm going to be adding a little. This page is done. I'm going to be adding a, um, some photo mats that go into this pocket. But I think this is the way it looks. I think it looks very, very pretty. And then close it. And then this side. So this page is done.